Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be considering how to calculate the quantity of reinforcement required to construct the foundation of this building plan successfully. As well, we will be producing a bad building schedule in that respect. So for us to go into this, we need to know all that we needed in order for us to be able to quantify the number of reinforcement as well as the weight of this reinforcement in kilogram and so if we check on the building plan you can see some column based right there and if that is calculated beneath this uh, starter bar details you can see the text title there and then the number of the uh, columns right there okay we have 29 of that okay as well for the beds we have 29 all right so since we have gotten these two details we are good to go so we will be doing this using autocad and plotter detail so let us get started we are going to be taking these two details the starter bars details as well as the column base reinforcement details to plotter detail and then we'll proceed from there but by then you will have to know the number of reinforcements in this starter bar you can see six y 16 you have to take note of that and as well you have to take note of the 14 reinforcement detail we have at white wolf a special 175 millimeters so for us to take the whole of this to plot a detail we need to save this alone we wouldn't need the building plan all right so get these two details selected just like this w on the keyboard and then you can just select the right block options in this provisions exact unit is millimeters click in this three provisions and then you will be able to save this okay in this provision so if i should check there i will say foundation and then i will change here to two right there just like this and then i click on save okay so that has been saved successfully now we want to proceed to launch proto data and so i'm going to minimize this right away and i begin to my proto detail 2022 this option double click on that so this is going to open up the proto detail where we will proceed to select the required code of practice and then we make progress here we go we are going to be selecting new project all right so i will select this new project options and then i'll give the project a name so this project name is going to be foundation quantity so you can separate the text with iphone just like that foundation quantity then i can just key a rebounds right there just like this i will now have to select the code i want to work with so i will be considering united kingdom euro code and i click on the ok option so this is going to open a template in that respect in proto data 2022 so at this interface, I have to select start by creating a new drawings options. Here we go. I will navigate to the open drawings, open drawings file. So this takes me right away to a folder, which I will now navigate to my document where I save that AutoCAD detail file, which is this one. I get that selected, click on open. So all of that is being opened here successfully. Okay, so, so this proto detail is just like an advanced AutoCAD, an advanced AutoCAD with a smart tool. So we are going to be looking at those smart tools while we make progress. So at first, we will carry out the details and quantity of the foundation footings detail. So here we go, we'll be using this tool these two core convectory bars so in as much as we have gotten all of this rebar details of the footings we want to convert it 
to put our details rebars so we can be able to generate the quantity so you navigate to the options convert to rebars click on it once and then you have convert to rebars dialog in this river you can see over here we have none cover anchor range all right so you can use any of these options okay but in as much as we have already got it all our, our anchorage we we proceed with none and then you can see start segment you can see air segment so this is just like if you want to produce another new uh rebar details all right but now we are converting so we come to our area of interest the rebar usage okay over here we can see slab you can see rich slab share wall and the rest of that but in the case we are the options that you want to actually convert is not here you choose general and then the quantity of river is needed all of these are editable even after you must have converted the river which we may be going through so don't go nowhere stay tuned and then we make progress so now you can proceed to calculate in this direction we are having eight white wealth all right so in this other direction we are having how many we are having also eight white wealth at the same specific 175 so you can key in here eight right here okay and then for the spacing 175 you key that in right here just like this the river diameter is 12 okay so for the concrete cover this is foundation so you can't use cannot use uh, uh 40 but this is not really this, this does not really matter okay what matters to us is the quantity of the reinforcement all right as well as the bar bending schedule that is what is mattered to us in this case so we have that feeding. What you just have to do, select this reinforcement. You can see this has been converted to proto detail reinforcement. All right, so you can see eight white wave. What we have here, okay? We also have it uh, right here, right there, okay? So we can proceed to select this because it is the same reinforcement, okay? So haven't selected the two. Uh, reinforcement in the X and Y direction successfully click on the escape to get rid of the compact to reverse dialog just like this then we cannot come over to the reverse we have to edit them by selecting or double clicking on this rebar you will have a dialog just like this in this dialog we have various uh, editing tools right here like the spacing like the quantity of rebars and the rest of that so what we're going to do here is we will have the multiplier. You can see we are having one right there. So we are having total number of 29 reinforcements. So for the multiplier in this directions, we have 29 right there. All right. Very, very important. Having said that successfully, we wouldn't want to see all these uh, total length, uh, segment length, and the rest of that. So you can click here to get rid right of that. We only want to see the quantity so we left this quantity only all right so after which you can now close this right here okay and then we, you can as well move this because it's actually clashing right here as you can see so i can click here move my hand upward and place it here okay so you can now see 29 times 8 all right is what we have right there so can i close this so i'm done with the vertical uh reinforcement of the footage for the horizontal I will also do the same. I will double click right on the reinforcement to have the dialog and navigate in this provision. The multiplier is supposed to be 29 of that. Okay. And then I come down. I wouldn't want the display total length. I wouldn't want the display segment length as well. So I get rid right of all of that successfully. So you can now see what I'm having. I can click on this to readjust and reposition this very well. Okay. The other thing I want to show you in this dialog is you can see the leather line is on the bar. Okay, you can click in these provisions and be able to select either none or with arrow. Okay, which you can now be able to access this arrow just the way this one has. Huh? Okay, so I've been converted this successfully. We'll come to the starter bar. Okay, so these are the bars that are in the foundation. Okay, they are in the foundation of that building plan. Okay, so we want to know the required quantity we needed successfully. So I'm done with this. I want to come to the starter bar and click on the convert to rebar. So in these provisions, I'm having total number of bars here to be six. 
and I'm having two bars here, yeah? so it's going to be three three. So here I would have to change here to three, right there. The spacing I wouldn't need any spacing for now. It's not important. Just three bars. So this is going to count three bars. It's not going to depend on the number of spacing. Okay. So I have three bars, and then the bar diameter is sixteen, right there. Okay. So the concrete cover. In this case is 25 or use 30 is allowed right there okay it's not really matter so having selected that i will select on this river to convert it to rotor details reinforcement successfully so you can now see i have it three ways 16 these directions and then i click on this to also have three y 16 altogether giving me a starter bars of six y 16 right there okay so I will click on the escape on the keyboard to get rid of the uh, convert to rebars dialog. Then I double click on this to also have some changes in this dialog. So over here, we are having also 29 numbers of this. Okay, so we get to the multiplier, we key in 29 of that, and then I wouldn't want to see the total length. Oh, I can leave the total length, but all of this will be on the quantity table. So we wouldn't need that right there. I'll get rid of this over here, just like this. I'm okay with this right now. I'll now click on closed. I can also adjust this. Okay, place it wherever I think is fine by me. Okay, and then I'll close this provisions over to this site. I always double click on the river. And then in the multiplier it's going to be 29 right there i will scroll down to where i have the total length get rid of that and the segment length successfully after which i will click on the close or i try to rearrange the label right there just like this and then i click on the close options we are good to go now we want to deliver the quantity of this reverse as well as the weight okay for us to do that you have to navigate to this tab where you have quantity table select it once and then you have the dialog come to this tab and then choose landscape all right click on the okay now select all of this successfully just like this right click and enter then click xyr to generate the quantity of this river so i will briefly explain this quantity that we have here so these are the bar sizes and these are the numbers of items we are having in this uh drawing so we have two items which is one and two the size of the bar is 12 16 the one the quantity of the bars is 408 uh, 464 and then we also have for the Y16, 174, all right? The length, the cut length is going to be 1.6, okay? Or 1,600, okay? For the Y12, okay? For the Y16, the length is going to be 2,100. As you can see, here is the bar form or the shadow, like the bar shape, okay? The bar shape is this, okay? Over here we have the total length in meters. So the total length in meters we are having it to be 742.4 meters in length. The total length of this, as in if you sum all of these together, you have this total length. Okay. So for the white wave reinforcement, we will be having the unit weight in kilogram per meter. Okay, to be 0 0.89. And then over here we have the weight, okay? The weight here is giving us to be 659.9. This weight is gotten, okay, by multiplying this unit weight by the total length in meters. You will have this. The same thing applicable to the Y16, all right? So if you sum these two together, these two weights, you have the total weight. So you can take this total weight to the market and then be able to get the total reinforcement, right?
can take this way to the market to be able to get the total reinforcement white wolf required for that foundation constructions as well as Y16. Okay, so if you wouldn't want to do it like that, you want to buy it in a single length, you can see the total length in meters to be for 742.4. Okay, so each length of re reinforcement is 12 meters. So if you divide 742.4 by 12, you should be able to have the total number. So we can check that out right away. So we have 742.4 device um, 12. You equals that, so you can see 61.866666 recording. So approximately you can get up to 62 uh, 12 meters length of white wave. Okay, the same thing applicable to Y16 or the foundations of that building plan successfully. So that will actually serve for both the starter bar and as well as the foundation footing successfully, just as we have uh, converted all of this very easy. Okay, so at this point, you cannot have to send this back to AutoCAD and then you can be able to print this all right so we will have to minimize this to send it back to autocad we will select export dwg slash dxf right click and export it right there so you can see foundations two right there okay you can choose the version of autocad you want to use but uh, let me go by 2010 version export right there so this is going to export successfully as you can see it right here I double click to have that in AutoCAD successfully. I'll continue right there. So, here is the drawing in AutoCAD. So, quickly, I can copy this out and then right click and go to the clipboard, copy, take it to the foundations one right there. So, this is what we have originally. So, we have already converted all of this successfully as quick as we have done it. So, you can bring this, you can now see it, you can bring this here. So, for now, we have gotten the quantity table all right for the footage reinforcement as well as the starter bar to carry out the foundations of this building plan which is the substructure uh, reinforcement successfully so this is where we bring this video to a stop and then we want to tell you not to forget to like not to forget to subscribe for more useful video of this kind and then if you want to join our ongoing master class there will be a link in the description of this video where you can join us successfully and you will learn more about this program prota structure as well prota detail we will take you to advanced and professional level successfully stay tuned stay connected and see you in the next presentations have a good day and bye for now